Hey Cloud Gamers, so YouTube Direct Streaming is finally here, but how good is it compared to the other conventional methods? So let's have a look here, we have got your local streaming, we've got OBS Direct Streaming at the recommended 9 kilobits per second for YouTube at 108060, and the YouTube Direct Streaming, as well as an old favourite of just using StreamYard. Now it is worth noting that StreamYard does cap your stream at 720p, so you can probably guess quite quickly from these four which one is StreamYard, but can you guess which from the other three are direct from Stadia, direct from OBS, or locally recorded? Now this is all from the same Chrome browser, even the locally recorded is still recording the browser. It is worth noting that the local recording is at 38 megabits per second, whereas the other streams are probably around the 9 megabits per second mark. So as we're going through the motion, we do see some stream artifacts on all of them, but that StreamYard version does look very, very bad. As we come across the water then, the Stadia Direct streaming is the bottom left, the OBS Local, bottom right, and the OBS Streamed, top right and if you hadn't guessed it StreamYard is top left. So there's quite a difference obviously between the local and the streamed. You do lose quite a lot of quality on the streaming here and one of the things to note is that the Stadia Direct doesn't allow you to up the stream quality. It just is what it is and it does seem to be capped at 1080p right now. Whereas streaming directly from OBS, you can increase the bitrate depending on your upload. Obviously the benefit of Stadia Direct is you don't need to worry about your upload speed for streaming. But with OBS you can also up your output. So if you were playing at 1440 or 4K, you can also stream at 4K depending on your upload bandwidth and making sure that obviously you have enough to stream that. So recording locally is obviously going to be the best, but technically if you had more than a 40 meg upload then you'd be able to stream at the same rate as the OBS local there and get the same quality on stream. So as we move over to a bit of side by side then, starting with Stadia Direct and OBS local, you can see quite a lot of difference here. The Stadia Direct definitely having a lot less quality here moving around and you'd expect that from a stream anyway. But as we come round here and freeze, we can really see how much of a difference that that streaming makes. And as we start to pick up the motion again, we get quite a lot of blurriness and artifacts on the stream itself. So it is a little bit disappointing that the quality is quite low here from Stadia, and hopefully this is just the beginning and we will see much better quality moving forwards. As we move over to the OBS local versus the OBS streamed, as I said, this is using the recommended nine kilobits or megabits per second. I never remember which one is which. Then you can see that you get those same kind of artifacts. But as we freeze here, it's a little bit higher quality, it seems, than the YouTube version. And again, as that motion picks up, we see that same kind of pixelation, but it doesn't seem to be as bad. Moving through the water here, we do seem to see that artifacting come back. So it does look like the recommended settings for Stadia Direct seem to be around the same as the OBS 9 kilobits or megabits. So as we put Stadia Direct and the OBS streamed next to each other here, this is where we can see that there really is not a lot of difference between the two of them, except obviously Stadia Direct is not using any upload bandwidth at all. As we come back through the section that really showed up the blurriness and the pixelation, you can see it's marginally better on OBS, but for not having that upload worry, it is a huge benefit. Now it is worth mentioning that Stadia does not support cameras currently or any overlays, and also it doesn't support chat from other members, either in party or obviously other non-game audio. So that is a restriction to the way that that's going to be for now, but it might still fulfill your needs for getting into the streaming world. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms. And I will see you next time.